What's going on guys, this is Rob, and I guess I should have seen this coming when I threw this on the poll, but this week, you guys voted to see a battle between Peter Porker, the Spectacular Spider-Ham, and Roger Rodney Rabbit, better known as Captain Carrot. Captain Carrot, I love Captain Carrot. Captain Carrot's a super bunny. But before we discuss which of these anthropomorphic adversaries will come out on top, let's discuss each character's origin and powers, starting with Spider-Ham. So Spider-Ham was created by Larry Hama, Tom DeFalco, and Mark Armstrong, and first appeared in Marvel Tales, starring Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Ham in 1983. Now, after that initial one-shot, Spider-Ham starred in his own ongoing series published under Marvel's Star Comics imprint, which was an imprint they typically used to publish comics based on licenses that they'd acquired, like Alpha, Chuck Norris Karate Commandos, which I really need to cover on this channel. But Spider-Ham's title was one of a handful of titles featuring original characters that actually kicked off the Star Comics line. Now, Spider-Ham, whose real name is Peter Benjamin Porker, lives in a reality designated as Earth 8311 in Marvel's universe numbering system, which is inhabited by various anthropomorphic animals that are basically parodies of popular Marvel heroes and villains, such as Captain America and Doctor Doom, which... Interestingly, Peter Parker was originally not a pig, but was simply a spider named Peter that lived in the basement of a crazy scientist named May Porker, who was, as her name implies, a pig. Now, May invents an atomic-powered hairdryer, and when she tests it out, she becomes radioactive, and in the ensuing confusion, she bites Peter, turning him into a pig, but retaining all of his spider abilities. Realizing that he had become something greater than either spider or pig, he christens himself Spider-Ham. Now, he would continue living with May Porker, who, due to her being irradiated, by the blow dryer, believed herself to be Peter's aunt, and who would go on to use his newfound abilities to fight crime as Spider-Ham, while also working as a photographer for the Daily Beagle, a newspaper ran by J. Jonah Jackal. Now, Spider-Ham, who would actually be brought into the main Marvel continuity with the Spider-Verse in 2014, which saw various versions of Spider-Man from across the multiverse teaming up to fight a group of villains known as the Inheritors, and would also show up during the Secret Wars event of 2015, and most recently, reuniting with five other versions of Spider-Man to form a team known as the Web Warriors. And of course, Spider-Ham rose to even more prominence after his inclusion in the film Into the Spider-Verse, which is the best Spider-Man film to date. I don't care what anyone says. Now, as for his powers, Spider-Hams are pretty much the same as Spider-Man's. He has superhuman strength, having been shown to lift up to 10 tons, and he can adhere to walls, as well as a precognitive spider sense that warns him of any impending danger. Now, Spider-Ham has also stated that he's able to track others by scent and can move his arms fast enough to create tornadoes. In addition to his superpowers, when he was bitten by May Porker, he was granted her scientific knowledge, which he's used in a variety of ways, but most notably to construct a pair of web shooters, which produce webs strong enough to swing or restrain his enemies. Now, Spider-Ham has displayed a level of durability that can only be described as cartoonish because, well, he's basically a cartoon character. He survived being stepped on by a robot weighing 200,000 pounds, but it does do significant damage to him. But on another occasion, he's struck by an alternate universe Thor wielding a hammer and was only minimally harmed. So it's hard to get a real sense of how durable he is because he's just been written so inconsistently and seemingly depends on whatever the plot dictates. Now, going up against Spider-Ham, we have Captain Carrot. Captain Carrot. I love Captain Carrot. Captain Carrot's a super bunny. Who was created by Roy Thomas and Scott Shaw and first appeared in New Teen Titans number 16 in 1982. Now, following the first appearance, he would appear in an ongoing series from 1982 to 1983 titled Captain Carrot and His Amazing Zoo Crew. Now, much like Spider-Ham, Captain Carrot comes from a world filled with talking anthropomorphic animals, with his homeworld being designated Earth-C within DC's multiverse prior to Crisis on Infinite Earths. But this designation has since been updated to Earth-26 in the current multiverse. Now, Captain Captain Carrot's real name was originally Roger Rabbit, but it was later changed to Roger Rodney Rabbit due to potential confusion with the film Who Framed Roger Rabbit, released in 1988. Roger Rabbit's transformation into Captain Carrot can be traced back to a day in Metropolis on Earth-1 when all the citizens began acting like monkeys, which prompted Superman to go into space and to investigate. Now, he notices a strange energy emanating from Pluto, which he believes to be a planet because this was in the 80s, and everyone was an idiot back then and thought Pluto was an actual planet. But as he flies towards Pluto, he runs into an energy barrier surrounding the Earth. Now, when he sees a meteor go through the barrier, he gets the bright idea to use a meteor to go through the barrier himself, which results in Superman being taken to Earth-C and the meteor shattering into several radioactive fragments. Now, one of these fragments ends up irradiating a carrot being eaten by a comic book artist named Roger Rabbit. But upon eating the carrot, Roger's physique instantly becomes more muscular and he develops powers such as acute hearing and the ability to leap great distances. Now, Roger decides to 
to become a costumed hero named Captain Carrot and finds that several other residents of the city have also been granted powers from being exposed to the meteor fragments. And with these new allies, he would form the superhero team known as the Zoo Crew. Now, Captain Carrot has taken part in a few stories in the main DC continuity, usually within the context of crisis events that reset DC's continuity. Earth C was able to survive the crisis on Infinite Earth due to its distinction as an alternate dimension instead of a parallel Earth. And Captain Carrot and the Zoo Crew would play a role in Final Crisis as they were part of the team of heroes that took on Mandrak, the Dark Monitor. Now, Captain Carrot has briefly appeared in the New 52 continuity and the Multiversity storyline by Grant Morrison and during the Multiplicity storyline and the Superman title during DC Rebirth back when it was good. But most recently, it was revealed in Dark Knight's Death Metal Multiverse's End that Earth-26 was destroyed by the villain Perpetua. And so Captain Carrot's powers are pretty similar to those of Superman, and for that reason, he's generally considered the Superman of Earth-26 for events that bring the respective Superman from various universes together. Now, he has superhuman strength, endurance, and durability, as well as superhuman hearing and sight. And now, instead of being able to fly, however, Captain Carrot has the ability to jump really far. The one caveat to Captain Carrot's powers is that his power supply must be replenished periodically by consuming cosmic carrots grown in the soil that was struck by the radioactive meteorite fragment. Now, if Captain Carrot goes 24 hours without eating another carrot, he reverts back to his normal power level, which is that of a nearsighted human rabbit hybrid that draws comic books. Luckily for him, he's managed to produce a near constant supply of cosmic carrots by dedicating part of the Zoo Crew headquarters to growing them. And so with all that in mind, it's time for us to declare a winner. And this is probably the most ridiculous battle that I think we've ever done. More so than I think we're going to put this on YouTube proper. <laughs> because both these characters exist in universes where the laws of physics are not applicable. In the Multiverses and book, Captain Carrot even points out that the laws of physics are different on Earth-26 than other Earths. And so we thought Perpetua would not be able to cause as much destruction there. And the reason this makes things difficult is that it's just hard to get a sense of how powerful these characters are because more often than not, they're doing things that are absolutely absurd. But you guys knew that when you picked it and it's actually probably why you picked it. So let's just move on to figuring out who would win between Captain Carrot and Spider-Ham. I, I don't, I love Captain Carrot, guys. I'm sorry, I love Captain Carrot. He's amazing. He's so awesome. <laughs> I feel like we should cover Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo crew. I feel like we should cover those comics. They're so fun. They are so much fun. But leaving aside that he's an anthropomorphic pig, Spider-Ham is for all intents and purposes, just another version of Spider-Man. He has all the same powers as Spider-Man. He has a scientific knowledge of Spider-Man and he's a newspaper photographer, just like Spider-Man. Really, the only difference is that he's a pig. I guess he theoretically does have pig powers in addition to his spider powers and his heightened sense of smell is likely due to that. But I'm not sure what other powers Powers he would get by virtue of being a pig. Captain Carrot, on the other hand, although cartoonish in nature, is still a Superman analog. He's the strongest hero from Earth-26 and has been called upon on more than one occasion to fight alongside the other Superman from the multiverse. As such, his powers are on an entirely different level than Spider-Ham's, just as Superman's powers are far beyond those of Spider-Man. So nine times out of 10, Captain Carrot emerges victorious here. The one out of 10 shot that I would give Spider-Ham is if he's able to prolong the battle longer than 24 hours and figure out a way to keep Captain Carrot from replenishing his powers by eating another carrot. Now, although this is unlikely due to the advanced carrot growing operation Captain Carrot has set up, which has been investigated multiple times by the DEA, uh, no, it hasn't. I don't know why I said that. Probably because growing carrots in order to get power sounds like something a, a like a like a meth head would do. But Spider-Ham is a highly intelligent pig, so maybe he can figure out a way to do it, or maybe he can come up with some advanced technology to negate the radioactive effects of the soil and thereby deprive the carrots of their special abilities. I just want to say I think it's hilarious to like like the idea of meeting a meth head who's like cultivating or like 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 cooking in like some room somewhere and they're like what are you doing it's like i'm making my cosmic carrots man so i can become captain carrot i, I mean it's it's not good but i feel like it's hilarious <laughs> or like somebody growing in like their basement <laughs> and they're just saying like they're, they're cosmic carrots, right? Like, <laughs> I feel like that'd be hilarious. I don't know. It just sounds funny to me. But regardless, barring the ability to prevent Captain Carrot from being able to consume one of his carrots within a 24 hour period, Captain Carrot's gonna win almost every single time. But with that being said, guys, we're gonna bring this video to an end. If you guys are new here to Comments Explained, make sure you guys hit the sub button, become part of the Rob Corps. If you guys wanna see more versus videos, go check out the Patreon where you guys get to vote on new videos every week. And I will catch you all later. Peace.